for the sustainable development of a country, detailed and reliable geographical information is very important. For example, to improve the agricultural sector and achieve food security. This data, for instance, can be used for land administration or determining which crop can be best grown where. In Rwanda, the Netherlands Initiative for Capacity Development in Higher Education, or NICHE, is supporting two educational institutions that are developing the knowledge and use of geographic information systems for sustainable development and food security. The first one started as an NPT project, the predecessor of NICHE, at the National University of Rwanda. This university established the Centre for Geographic Information Systems in the year 2000, but was lacking human resources and facilities. Adri Mukashema, who's now working at the Ministry of Natural Resources, was the local project coordinator between 2007 and 2010. CGS was one room, one staff, one machine. Few, few students, like less than 10 students, who have been on a tailor kind of a trained in GIS and remote sensing, but there was no skills of GIS. So this project came to start this program. Mostly that project focused on providing some equipment, mostly computers and servers and so on, GPSs. And um, there have been so many people trained. Let's say, for example, 17 masters programs have been uh, studied by uh, staff from the National University of Rwanda. There have been PhDs, there have been short courses, there have been so many trainings. Basically, we can say that NPT is the one that really made uh, a step, a tangible step to, to, to introduce this program at NUR. After the NPT project, the cooperation with the National University of Rwanda continued in the form of a niche project which is focusing more on the educational skills of the CGIS staff. And you have to follow step by step. Now the second phase, which is a niche project, is now focusing in providing these people that have been trained already uh, with skills of how to use the knowledge they acquired in the previous project, uh, especially in research, consultancy <coughs> and teaching. This is our mapping officer here, Cody Morris. He's uh, doing uh, just uh, this is a map of our country related to what, Morris? Uh, it is a historical map showing. Historical map, yes. historical map. People from outside, from government agencies, from private sector, they come and uh, we produce those maps and they pay, of course. And uh, yeah, we generate money. We are contributing a lot in environmental management, in land administration issues, in uh, urban planning, and we have also some projects on uh, climate change and food security, where we are using JS uh, to show some the region, some regions where we have problems of droughts, for example, and uh, where we have problems of uh, in terms of land suitability for the whole country. We can show, for example, this is a region for maize, this is a region for uh, potatoes, this is a region for uh, uh, other crops. While CGIS, being an academic institution, mostly practices data analysis, INES, in the northern part of Rwanda, is focusing on the practical education of GIS experts, with an emphasis on food security. Here we have students of second year, land survey, uh, who, came, who came to take a measurement on this uh, potato field. And uh, you see, we have brought uh, here three instruments to, see, to show to students how they can be used in uh, taking field measurements. The country had a lack of this, uh, the, the, the specialist in, uh, in surveying using these modern instruments. We made a survey on the mismatch which exists between the academic products and the market's needs. 
we realize that we are offering good programs, but in a wrong way. Then we decided to look for the right concept, and we found it with applied sciences. The challenges is we do not have enough human resources. So NIFIC has, has come in to support our programs, to build the capacities of our uh, staff, especially in the domain of seeds production, in the domain of uh, agriculture, agriculture statistics, and also in land administration management. Through NICHE, INIS acquired the necessary land surveying equipment, as well as support in redeveloping the curriculum and adapting to new teaching methods. Now, INIS is the first educational institution in Rwanda to have its own land surveying department. This means they can do their own measurements instead of relying on secondary information. Uh, you see all these instruments, actually, they are helping us to improve food security and food production in Rwanda. This is very useful and it's really wonderful to use them with, because we have the accurate information. Not only in the agriculture uh, field or in agriculture practices, but also in, overall, in general in land management, urban planning, uh, road, road planning, road, uh, road management. All these data that they, use, they take using these instruments are very useful in spatial planning and management. When we chose this model of applied sciences, we realized that this is going to bring the solution to education, which is not going to produce papers, but to produce competences. And we want to be practical so that uh, we may make a difference.